Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? I'm going to talk to you guys. I know you guys are excited about everything that you're doing. I know you guys are taking care of your business and it's a lot of good things happening to you. And I know you guys are planning out and plotting out your future. But what you're going to have to do is make your next move your best move, but keep it to yourself like a chess move. Because you shouldn't be going and telling everybody your move. Not everybody is a team player. Not everybody is your teammate. Okay? Not everybody wants to see you win. Some people in life are playing against you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep it on the hush. All right? And don't tell, don't say nothing. Because when you tell people what you're going to do, you're thinking that people all, you're thinking that the person you're telling wants to see that happen for you. You're seeing that the person you're telling would be excited to see something good happen to you. Not everybody wants to see you win. Some people are more excited to see you lose than to win. Some people rather see something bad happen to you than to have something good happen to you just so they can have something to talk about so they can look better. Not everybody is a winner themselves. So when you go and try to win, they're going to feel some type of way about that. And the more you go to disregard how they feel, ooh, those narcissists, they're going to feel some type of way about that. Who does this person think he is to try to win in my face? All the while, you're just trying to do your very best. But they take that offense. They take that offensive because of their ego. They feel that things should just be given to them because of who they are instead of the work that they do. It's very dangerous. Stay away from people like that. Don't tell those people what you plan on doing because, oh, those people are going to be jealous of you. They're going to feel every kind of way about what you're trying to do with your life. They're going to feel that you think that you're better than them simply for trying. If you try something that they think that they can't do and they see you doing it, they're going to feel offended because when they went to do it, they couldn't do it. They didn't think they could do it. They don't think they could do much at all. So when you have big dreams and you have big goals, it's best to keep them to yourself. When you're about to make a move, when you're about to do something that you want to see happen, it's best to keep it to yourself. Maybe if you want to tell them, why not afterwards? Because when you tell people before you get something done, they have the opportunity to try to discourage you. They have the chance to try and tear that idea down before you even build it up. You don't want people to try to tear your ideas down. You don't want people to tell you that you can't do something and that you're not good enough to do it when you know you are. You don't want people to plant seeds of doubt and worry and fear when it comes to you and your goals. You could be so hung, you could be so caught up on your uh, own belief, right? I mean, you could be so caught up on what somebody says to you that you'll disregard your own belief. Be careful who you tell. That person might hold weight in your mind. You might have to distance yourself from that person or you might have to do some, uh, men, you might have to improve, make some improvements mentally so that way other people's opinions don't matter as much to you. Because depending on who you tell, if this person is a very influential person in your life, they may try to shatter that dream or what they say may shatter that dream. It may make you doubt yourself. You may have second thoughts after that, maybe second guessing yourself. Before you talked to uh, them, you thought you could do it. And now after speaking to them, now you're questioning whether you could do it or not. You ever felt that way? You ever talk to somebody and while you're talking to them, you see yourself being able to do it and you have high hopes and you see yourself making it happen and you see yourself achieving this goal and you see your dream coming into reality right before your eyes. But by the time you get done talking to them about it, they make you question yourself. They make you question your ability. They make you wonder whether if you could really do it or not. They might even make you feel like you're wasting your time. That's why it's best to keep your next move, your best move to yourself like a chess move. Definitely make it your best move, but you're not going to want to tell people, especially your best moves. Somebody may try to copy it, especially if it's a good idea. If it's a money-making idea, people steal ideas all the time, y'all. 
You don't want your blessing stolen. You don't want your good idea taken from you. Even though God might be able to give you another one, but the one you already have is yours. You keep it. You use it. You implement it. You put it out. You patent it. You get it on shelves. Then people will see it. You won't even have to talk about it. That's the beauty of getting things done. When you get something done and you complete it, there's no need to talk about it. Doesn't make a difference. It's already finished. It's already put out. It's already complete. And you ever notice how once you get things done, you don't even feel the need to talk about it? You just, once you get it done, you just be like, man, I might as well just keep it on the hush. They'll see it once it blows up. That's real. That's your higher self talking to you. Trust it and believe in it. It won't never let you down. Your intuition is always there for you and always letting you know who you should talk to and who you shouldn't talk to. You get a bad feeling before you go in to talk to somebody about something. Think twice before you go and tell them. If you don't know if this person will be happy for you or not, think twice before you go and talk to them and tell them about this dream. You love to do this. You love whatever it is you love to do. Keep it to yourself and just do it. People don't need to know. Nobody needs to know what you're doing. People want to feel like they're doing something in life. I get it. I understand. You may see somebody doing something. You may see somebody that has something. You may be working your way up. You may want people to know that you're you're doing your thing. You may want people to know that you're making advancements in life. You're improving. That's, that, that's all normal stuff. Everybody likes to feel like they're worthy, but you don't need other people's validation. You may be seeking other people's validation. You don't need that. Only person that you need to validate you is you because you owe yourself. You owe yourself the credit. You owe yourself the thanks. You owe yourself the effort all the time that you're putting in. Only person you have to prove it to is yourself. You don't owe those people anything and they don't owe you anything. Just because you're working on something doesn't mean people are going to come give you praise for it. It didn't even do anything yet. What are you, what are you trying to get praised for? That's, that's one of the reasons why they're looking at you crazy when you're trying to tell them about this big thing. And number two, you know their belief isn't all, but if, if somebody's belief in themselves isn't that big and that great, what makes you think that they're going to be happy for you if yours is? And I know we're good people and we think that everybody believes in themselves. We think that everybody is out there achieving and believing and receiving, but it's not the case. All right. You don't want to tell this person about your dream and then be shut down, feel depressed, be like, wow, man, some people will put a spell on you and have you think you have nothing good to offer to the world. Some people put a spell on you and make you think that you're not good enough to go after what you want in life. You have to be careful who you are telling. You have to protect your dream like a newborn baby. You know how people are with a newborn baby. You can't just let anybody hold your baby. You can't just let anybody come near your baby. People got to be loving. People got to be caring. Most of the time, it's only family and friends that get to see the baby. Keep your dream to yourself, okay? You are your family and friends when it comes to your dream. You protect it. You nourish it. You make it grow. Treat it like a brand newborn baby. And you make sure that dream does not get crushed, all right? You make sure nobody kills that dream of yours because that's what God gave you to pursue. That's what God, that was God's gift to you. God put that dream in your head so that you could go pursue it and be wealthy and be successful at it and have something to live for and enjoy your life and have a purpose. You can't tell everybody these things. Not everybody knows what they want to do in life. People aren't going to be happy for you if they're confused and you come up to them with a whole a full plan, plot and scheme on how to get rich and get ahead in life, especially if, it, if it's something that looks good enough, especially if they believe in your, if, if you look credible, they're going to believe in you and your ability more than they'll be able to believe in themselves. That's a dangerous thing. So it's best to keep that to yourself, honestly and respectively. Because you don't want people, you don't want groups of people praying against you. They will, they will form groups, all right? They will form Voltron against you, these Decepticons. They will form Voltron against you, pray against you, 
pray for your downfall, wish you the worst instead of wishing you the best because they don't want to see you succeed and they don't want to see you manifest your dream and your reality. That's not what they want. They want you to be right there next to them, miserable, unhappy, and feeling crappy. And that's not what we want. That's not what you want. Keep that dream to yourself. Execute it. Just do it. Nike it out. You know, no one has to know. You should take, you should have more satisfaction in getting it done and completing the job and keeping it to yourself than going off and talking about it. When you you ever notice that when you go off and tell people about your dream, you don't have as much energy to go back and work on it as you did. You're, you're running your motor, you're burning your motor out, talking to everybody about this big dream instead of just being quiet and working on it. They'll, they'll know, they'll see it, they'll see you shining in due time. All you have to do is make sure that you stay dedicated and you stay focused and you keep your money-making ideas, you keep your next move, you keep your best moves to yourself like a chess move. Because like I said, some people don't want to see you win, all right? Some people are actually plotting and planning for you to lose. You tell people your next your next move, you think they're your friend, and now you wonder why certain things are going wrong when you're trying to achieve your goal. You're wondering why things aren't working out when you're trying to achieve your goal. It's that fake friend of me that you went and told your plans to, thinking that they were going to be happy for you. Now, they might have set some things up in place because they're your friend. They know where you're going. They know what you got to do. You done told them everything. Now, now they're putting up booby traps and setting snares and, and, and doing foul play so you can't achieve your goal. And you're wondering why things aren't working out because you're telling everybody your business. You're telling everybody what you want to be and what you want to do and what you want to have. Keep that to yourself. Stop telling these people your business. They don't need to know the good that you desire. They don't need to know what you're working on. They don't need to know what your goals are. And you find somebody else that's working on something, you talk to that person. All right? That's why Soulja Boy and Lil Bow Wow are friends. Both childhood stars. You know what it's like to be a childhood star? No, you can't relate to them. He had to find somebody that he could relate to. They had to find somebody that they could relate to. That's why they're good friends. They were both childhood stars. They know what that's like. They know what that experience is like. The ups, the downs, all of it. Okay? You can't just go telling people. They could. They can't just go to anybody. Some people not even going to care. Oh, man, I got this million-dollar lifestyle, man. It's rough, man. It's it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. It's exciting, and it's kind of weird at times. People going to look at them and be like, man, if you don't just shut up and enjoy that money, but chosen, chosen one, that's how they look at you, chosen vessels. That's how they look at you, because you're chosen. But we, just because we haven't hit our mark yet doesn't mean these people don't see that we're dipped in butter. Doesn't don't mean that these people see that we're standing under the spout where all the blessings are pouring out. We are anointed and never disappointed. Do you understand? We are anointed and never disappointed. Chosen ones, chosen vessels, light beings. Star seeds. Got to shout everybody out. But always remember, all right, the people you're telling your business to may not have your best interest at heart. You don't want anybody trying to sabotage your dream. You don't want anybody telling everybody what you're trying to do. And now you have, you might even have a whole town of people trying to stop you. You, know, you never know. You never know, Mike. You never know what and how people perceive you. You never know how great people perceive you. You might just think you're this great. People might see you as this great. Okay? This great. Uh, all right? They might see you as that great. So it's like, why ruin it? Why make it harder for yourself? There's already enough people trying to stop us already, and they don't even know what the hell we're trying to do with our, our life or ourselves. So why make it harder on us telling people that are potentially hating on us, if not full-blown haters, because nowadays it's a lot of fake people out here. You have to be careful who you trust. You have to be careful who you tell your dreams and your aspirations to. The Bible talks about this. You can't just go telling everything and anything to everyone. Some people are out to get you. Some people are, not all, but some. 
there are a majority of people out there who live that negative lifestyle of not wanting to be successful. I'm going to tear you down instead. There are people out there that live that, that are about that life, that negativity, that toxicity, having no vision. What does the Bible say? The people without a vision will perish. Why do you think people are out here perishing? Everybody trying to do what they see on the internet. Everybody trying to pretend to be this one. Everybody trying to pretend to be that one. Nobody being original. Nobody being authentic. Nobody uh, thinking it's cool to be themselves. All right? Nobody being comfortable with who they are. Everybody got to do what they see everybody else do and mimic and copy. Can't replicate what's real. Okay? You can't replicate what's real. So keep your next move, your best move to yourself like a chess move all right you ever you ever watch chess you ever seen any movies about chess chess players right if you tell the other chess player your move what happens when you tell the other chess player your move pretty sure i don't even have to explain it. i'm pretty sure everybody knows what happens for anybody who may not know if you tell the chess you basically just lost you basically told them you basically set yourself up or you're setting yourself up when you tell the another player, you tell your opponent your next move. Because if you're playing chess, you're trying to beat this person. You're trying to win against this person. And if you tell the other opponent your next move, they're going to know what you're doing next. You can't. And then when they know what you're doing next, when if they stop you or if they do it, they do some defense, put some defense on you and they block your next move. You have nobody to blame but yourself so you can't be upset when things don't go right if you told someone and then later on you find out they were jealous because they wanted to stop you wow i thought this person was a friend who'd have thought that they were trying to uh cancel me the whole time who'd have thought they were trying to stop what i i was creating the whole time who knew they were trying to put down and put an end to what i what, what i'm creating what i'm making what i'm trying to uh get going what I'm trying to get started. They're trying to make me quit. They don't want to see me manifest my reality. They don't want to see my dream come true. Don't they know that they can go make their own dream come true? No, they're too busy trying to stop you from yours coming true. Why? Because they're jealous of you. And if they're if you're going to be successful, they feel that it's in their right and all their power to stop it. But they don't know that they're being used by the devil. They don't know that the devil's making them do that. They don't know that they, they that uh, they, they're missing out on their opportunity to live their best life by following God and believing in God and walking a righteous path. They don't know that and believing in Jesus. They don't know that. All you have to do is keep your lips sealed. Stop telling everybody your business. Stop telling everybody your personal business. Stop telling everybody what you about to do next, what you finna do next. Some people you think are your friend, they're really hating on you. Some people you think they're your friend, they really don't want to see you succeed. Some people rather see you fail than to see you win because they're not winning. All right. When people aren't winning and you are sometimes that makes people jealous. Sometimes people are all, sometimes those people who say they're your friends are only around you because they see you winning. And the fact that they're a fake friend and you go tell them, they're like, oh, okay, now I know what to do. You're basically giving people ammunition for their, uh, for their weapons, all right, for their firepower. You're just loading up their guns for them. Here, here, you can shoot me with this. You can take me down with this. You can stop what I'm trying to do now because you know this. We living in a day and times where people change up on you faster than the weather. All right, people will switch on you faster than they change a shirt. They'll do it to you. So don't do it to yourself. And keep your business to yourself, all right? All those good things you want to achieve, that's a wonderful thing that you want to achieve. And I, I applaud you for it. That's wonderful that you want to be great. That's amazing that you don't want to be average and you want to do something above what the average person wants to do with their life. But you have to keep in mind those people who you are uh, trying to be above average of, right? Sometimes they have the crab in the bucket syndrome and they want to pull you back down. 
So if you tell somebody who you who you're unaware of that's trying to pull you back down, your next moves and your business, you're basically just giving yourself giving them the rope to hang you. And you don't want to do that. Everybody, keep your next move, your best move, but keep it to yourself like a chess move. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that share button. All right? Put in the comment section, I'm making my next move, my best move, and I'm keeping it to myself like a chess move. All right? Everybody, check out that next video. If you like this one, and I know you did, you're definitely going to like the next one because there's something more powerful in the next video than this one. If you can believe it, I'll see you in the next video. Check it out.